Hey Jazz Heads, so I've got another busy week coming up, which is going to be capped off by another gig with my septet. I uh, will be performing in South London at a really cool place called the Ivy House, which has a regular jazz gig once a week, uh, which is a pretty cool thing. But today, I've had a few thoughts and a few conversations with some students of mine um, who asked a few questions when I was talking about the septet and that I've been writing music for it and things. Uh, so there's a few questions that came up about composition. So I thought I'd give you a few thoughts on my processes into composing. Like my processes is really important here because I haven't trained formally in classical composition. Um, what I've learnt from composition is done from reading books, deconstructing compositions of others and just lots and lots of trial and error. I've been writing music probably for 15 years and a lot of it has sucked uh, <laughs> in previous years. Yeah, trial and error is a big part of of, uh, of what I do. Uh, but mostly I just go with what I hear and what I think sounds good. Um, and then arranging it out, I'm a bit more trained. And so creating arrangements of these tunes is where I can really add value to my compositions and things like that, I think anyway. So the main question I had from a student when I was talking about composition was, where do you start? Do you start with the age old question, do you start with the melody or do you start with the changes? I've got four compositions on the go at the moment. And interestingly, they use both methods, okay? Here's one that I have, or uh, that, oh well, I've finished the composition. It just needs a title. I'm awful at titles. Hence why most of my titles end up being silly puns or I have to come up with a whole scheme of uh, a concept album so that they can all be linked in. So yeah, I'm just still searching for a title. Searching? Ah, there's too many compositions called searching. So this one, actually I started with a melody. And from the melody that I ended up writing, I started hearing some quartal harmony on that. So that one just needs a title. Um, I am in the process of writing a waltz. Uh, now this one, I did completely the other way around in that I've got a set of changes that I really like. So for that, I wrote out the harmony. Uh, I'm gonna have a bash at writing the melody for that today. I can play around on the piano uh, to an extent to find the harmony that I like, but playing it with a lot of fluency and, and a melody line, I find really difficult. It's just my ability on the piano and I don't have an awful lot of time to improve that. So I use a backing kind of software. So uh, I usually often use iReelBook. You can hear the harmony and you can hear it plays it roughly accurately. <laughs> Uh, it lacks a lot of feel and things like that, but you can hear where the, the harmony's going. So here's the harmony. And I'll listen to that on repeat. And I'll start playing around with some melodies. I quite like to write melodies on the trumpet. Um, a lot of my melodies are written on the trumpet, especially in this context where I've got a preset harmony. piece I've got going different from both of those 
So I have a concept in my head of a sound that I want. So this is how it's going at the moment. Not very good at the moment. Not got an awful lot there. I can hear it in my head. The sound is in there. So I won't be composing on the trumpet and I won't be uh, writing out a preset harmony. I can hear it in my head. So what I do in that case is I get out my phone and when I can hear the idea in my head, I will often make a voice note of me singing in, and I'll just sing what I hear. Uh, and then at a later date, I'll go back and I'll perhaps transcribe out a couple of lines and then tweak them and play about with them a little bit in a very slow process, uh, which can either be done around uh, music notation software or uh, on the piano. So I've got one in there at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. So there's a little insight of some of my compositional process. If you want to hear some of my compositions that have been completed, oh, they're all in there, then get down to the Ivy House on Sunday afternoon. That's the 9th of February, 2.30 p.m. It's free. Free to come in. Free jazz. Well, not free jazz, but free jazz. Um, and the Duncan Fraser Septet will be playing there from 2.30 till 5 p.m.